it's time for the Texas Bucket List Bite of the Week. And this week we're in Snyder, Texas at a small Mexican restaurant that happens to be situated right next to a little hotel. But this place has got some sizable food. We're at the Ponderosa. If you ever find yourself scouring through the county seat of Scurry County, you might want to head to the west side of town for a restaurant in front of a rest stop because you might just need a room for a nap after eating here. You have plenty of food, you don't go you leave them full, not hungry. To get full, <laughs> let's put it like that, man, to get full. Why do you make everything so big? It's not big. It's, it's what you pay for. Luis Contreras is the owner who loves making meals memorable. So you just make sure people get their money's worth. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I think it works. Born in Mexico and raised in California, Luis didn't follow his fellow West Coasters to the capital city. Instead, he opted for the big country. He glad the ground's not shaking anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you see, Luis was tired of California dreaming and wanted to raise his daughter somewhere simpler. LA is very hard for kids to grow up. You don't want that kind of life for your kids. Fate was on his side back in 2001 when he picked up a classified ad. And we saw this ad in the trip to Nico. In the thrifty uh, nickel. Uh huh. And we couldn't believe it, the price. $120,000, uh, 25 rooms with uh, 1.75 acres. It was unreal. You can't get that in California. No, 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 no. <laughs> Not even in my dreams. Luis packed up the family and purchased the hotel that needed a heck of a lot of work. So has living life in Texas been everything you you had expected? It was the best thing that happened to me. The only thing I don't understand yet and I can understand in this situation is how my house worth uh, less than my truck. <laughs> you can explain me, yes, but I can't understand. Because everybody loves their trucks. <laughs> Once he renovated his hotel, he built a restaurant. So what do you love more, the cooking? Oh, I love it. I mean, it's, it's uh, cooking, it's, it's everything. Luis and his wife Lucia run this little joint with love, but Lucia knows to leave the cooking to Luis. That's what I fight with my wife. Kitchen is mine, not her. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> Maybe that's because his meals are beyond big. Take breakfast, for example. Oh, that's the one. It's just only uh, three pancakes, hash browns, bacon, sausages, ham, and uh, five eggs, whatever way you want it. Sure, that sounds just, legit. Yeah. There's quite a bit of food here. One big old smothered burrito caught our eye, thanks to its unique combination of carne. I call it this in between barbacoa and birria. Birria? Uh-huh. Saying that right? Well. It's a tradition. Birria is, a, is, is one of the most traditional dishes in the state of Jalisco, Mexico. Okay. That's the most common. So this is the barbacoa barilla mix? Uh-huh. So you make this and just have it ready to go? Yeah, the, the, also ready to go. That's going to go in one burrito? And one burrito. That's, that, that's, that's one burrito. That's one burrito. It's not barbacoa, it's not birria, it's in between. It's a barbiria. <laughs> we can call it that. Yeah, there you go. How much, how many pounds of meat is that? Two? I don't know. <laughs> With an unreal amount of meat on the grill, Luis starts warming up a massive tortilla made especially for his restaurant. How are you going to roll that together? This oh, this is it. Refried beans, rice, the meat, and cheese get tossed on the tortilla. You really don't use a scale. No, no, no. It's... That is enough for at oh. least four people. A special sauce consisting of salsa, spices, queso, and enchilada sauce tops off the inside. Holy moly, that is a mountain. Are you about ah. done? Cause oh. I'm getting nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Luis flips the behemoth burrito and covers it with more sauce. You're gonna be here all day to pouring that queso on that thing, trying to cover it, Luis. Ah. What's a little more queso? Uh, you missed the spot. <laughs> I hope you're charging like twenty dollars for this thing at least. No, that's uh, eleven ninety nine. Eleven ninety nine. Uh huh. That's ridiculous. Since there is no scale, there's no telling just how much this burrito weighs. But trust me, it's as big as a baby. Also, come with a birth certificate if you want it. A birth certificate. <laughs> <laughs> So here we have it, a preposterous sized burrito at the Ponderosa in Snyder, Texas. And we're just gonna dig into this thing because it is literally gotta be at least, at least four pounds of food. I'm just guessing, cause like Luis said, there is no scale here. With this much cheese, there's no real way to safely eat this thing. That's gonna be inappropriate. 
Cheers. The tortilla is incredibly soft. The sauce savory with a seriously cheesy kick. And then every once in a while you get that cheesy sauce mixed in with that homemade salsa. Woo! Kicks it up a notch, brings out some flavor. We haven't even gotten to the barbacoa yet. It's amazing, man, it's real good. That barbacoa prepared birria style, that's bodacious. Everything here is good. The cheese sauce is unreal. The barbacoa, amazing. Everything else, compliments it perfectly. Like I said, you get your money's worth. Well, if you are looking for a literal hole in the wall, an amazing gem out here in Snyder, Texas, the Ponderosa is a perfect stop on the Texas bucket list.